Australia's southern coastline harbours a geological wonder, often overlooked due to its location beneath the ocean surface, known as the Murray Canyons, this submerged canyon system rivals some of the most famous canyons on land, including the Grand Canyon itself. Stretching south of Kangaroo Island, these canyons reach depths of up to 5,000 metres, far deeper than the Grand Canyon, which descends to around 1,800 metres. These underwater giants were not carved by the wind or glaciers, but by the ancient forces of the mighty Murray River and fluctuating sea levels over millennia. The Murray River, Australia's longest and arguably most iconic river, plays a vital role in shaping the landscape, history and ecology of southeastern Australia. Stretching over 2,500 kilometres, it forms the lifeblood of the Murray-Darling Basin, one of the country's most productive agricultural regions. With an estimated age of over 60 million years, the Murray River has witnessed dramatic geological transformations. From tectonic shifts to sea level changes, its ancient waters have carved deep canyons, sustained ecosystems, and supported human civilizations for thousands of years, making it a key feature in Australia's natural and cultural heritage. The Murray Canyons were first discovered by Australian geologist Reg Sprigg, in 1947 during a survey conducted to explore the geology of the southern Australian coast. Sprigg identified the submarine canyons, which were eventually named after him, through soundings and other geological surveys. These canyons cut deeply into the continental shelf of South Australia, a unique feature stretching down to 5 kilometres in depth. The Murray Canyons provide more than just a glimpse into the region's geological past, they also represent a crucial record of how the Earth's climate and sea levels have fluctuated throughout the Quaternary period. As detailed in the research, sediment cores from the area show clear records of sea level changes, ancient climates, and even the fluctuating flow of the mighty Murray River during glacial and interglacial periods. Although the modern day Murray River appears placid and far removed from these submerged landscapes, its ancient form was far more powerful. During periods of low sea level, particularly during the last glacial maximum, around 20,000 years ago, the Murray River flowed directly to the edge of the continental shelf, where it carved deep canyons into the seabed. These channels are what we now recognise as the Murray Canyons. During the last glacial maximum, sea levels were up to 125 metres lower than they are today, allowing the Murray River to extend much further south. Sediment cores taken from the Murray Canyon area reveal that the river transported vast amounts of sediment into the canyons during these low sea levels. Terrigenous materials, including clays and dust, were deposited into the canyons, forming layers that provide a rich record of Australia's changing climate over the last 175,000 years. The river's influence waned when sea levels rose, and its mouth retreated inland, cutting off the sediment supply to the canyons. Tectonic activity also played a significant role in the evolution of the Murray Canyons. The southern margin of Australia is tectonically active, with shifts and uplifts affecting the course of the Murray River. Over time, these tectonic forces created barriers, forcing the river to change course and cut new channels. One such event was the formation of the Cadell Fault, which is something I'll be making a video on very soon. It created the modern course of the river and contributed to the complexity of its paleo drainage. Fascinatingly, the river system during the Quaternary period did not just consist of the Murray. Researchers have discovered that a second river, known as the Paleo River Vincent, likely flowed into the same canyon system during earlier glacial periods. This river, which drained the dry gulf of St. Vincent, contributed additional sediments, including smectite clays and kaolinite, that were carried into the deep canyons. The presence of these materials indicates how the river system shifted and responded to both tectonic and climatic changes. Sediment cores from the Murray Canyon area have provided invaluable insights into Australia's Lake Quaternary climate history. The cores contain evidence of the alternating dominance of river and wind-blown sediments, reflecting shifts between glacial and interglacial climates. During periods of low sea level and increased aridity, such as the last glacial maximum, the river deposited large amounts of smectite-rich clays into the canyons. During warmer, wetter interglacial periods, when sea levels were high, aeolian dust dominated the sedimentary record, indicating reduced river flow when increased wind activity. The sedimentary record also reveals how sea level fluctuations influenced the position of the Murray River's mouth, 
During the last glacial maximum, the river's mouth was much closer to the canyon area, allowing large amounts of terrigenous sediments to be deposited directly into the deep ocean. As sea levels rose, the river's influence diminished, and windblown sediments became the primary contributors to the canyon area. Today the Murray Canyon remains hidden beneath the waves, but modern technology allows scientists to explore these underwater landscapes in unprecedented detail. High resolution swath mapping and coring, such as those conducted during the OSCAN cruise in 2003, have revealed the intricate structure of the canyons, as well as their rich geological and climatic history. Apart from their geological significance, the canyons are also crucial to understanding the oceanographic processes along Australia's southern margin. The canyons serve as conduits for deep water currents, including the cold Antarctic intermediate water and circumpolar deep water, which flow through the region. These water masses play a vital role in global ocean circulation and influence marine ecosystems along Australia's southern coast. The Murray Canyons also serve as a historical archive of Australia's fluctuating climates, offering insights into how the continent's environment responded to past periods of glaciation and warming. As researchers continue to study these canyons, they hope to uncover more details about how the region's ecosystems and climate have evolved, shedding light on future environmental changes. The Murray Canyon represents one of Australia's most remarkable but hidden natural wonders. Carved by the ancient Murray River and shaped by tectonic forces and fluctuating sea levels, these canyons offer a glimpse into the dynamic processes that have shaped Australia's landscape over millions of years. From their discovery in 1947 to the detailed studies conducted today, the Murray Canyons continue to captivate scientists and explorers alike, reminding us of the power of nature and the ever-changing face of the Earth. You can actually see these canyons on Google Earth, and it's definitely worth taking a look at them. With continued exploration, the secrets of Australia's submerged Grand Canyon will further reveal the fascinating history of the Murray River and the ancient landscapes of the southern continent. These underwater canyons are a proof to the dramatic forces that have shaped the Australian landmass and will continue to inspire new discoveries in the future. Before I end this video, I just want to thank everyone for subscribing to the channel. We have hit 100,000 subscribers and I'm absolutely stoked and over the moon to have reached this milestone. I intend on continuing this journey of discovery and in the coming years this will involve travel to new areas to document the fascinating geology and mineralogy of our planet. Thank you again for being along for the journey, I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you found this topic about the Murray Canyons to be as fascinating as I did, and as always, thanks for watching. Are you interested in animals? I've just started a second channel called Paleozoology that discusses extinct and extant animals with a current focus on the megafauna that once dominated and roamed Australia. I'd love to have you along for the journey as more videos are released. You can find a link to this channel in the description and in the pinned comment in the comment section. Before I end this video I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.